Uh, just the intensity. I think we we picked up where uh, we just needed to be. I'm I'm very impressed with. Uh, I feel like uh, second year for for myself. I think for Newsy and all the staff, um, they've had a great start to to this camp. I think all the guys are really excited, and uh, that's that's what stood out for me. I feel like we're really familiar with a lot of the things that we're trying to accomplish, and uh, I feel like the work we've put in already. We're we're a few uh, few weeks, few days uh, into maybe where we were uh, last year already. And uh, you were out there today with Alex. What kind of impression has Dipping Cat made on you? Yeah, no, I mean he's he's obviously a good shooter. I'm I I noticed a couple of times he's looking for that backdoor play, those good little uh, pass that I'm sure all the goalies want to really uh, honor his uh, his shot, and he, he he's kind of figured out ways uh, around that to to uh, keep them honest, and uh, maybe they're gonna have to stay back in the net a little more, just little things like that. He's extremely smart. I gotta be. Uh, I think if. If there's ever a chance I play with those two, like I got to be around the net quite a bit, and uh, that's something I got to be ready for. Just with all the additions made over the summer, what do you kind of see as the potential for this team? I mean, I know it's only training camp, but. Uh, well, it's the potential to be a really good team to compete every night. And uh, if we take care of that each and every day, we will get to a better spot and in a spot that uh, maybe surprises people. And that's for sure always going to stay in the back of my uh, head for me <laughs> at the stage of my career and all that. I've seen it different ways uh, play out. And uh, there's also many teams that you think we're going to go take many steps forward and they don't. So it's it's really like we got to just keep building, keep working. And uh, I, I think with talking with some of the other guys, we've already had a some uh, kind of team dinner last night, another one tonight coming up. Uh, we, we feel like we're a team uh, right away, um, and uh, the, the feeling's uh, pretty good. Thanks. Max? Hey, David. Uh, what is the advantage you guys get from, from this not being like a year one? I mean, some people, it's their first year here, but year two of Newsy, year two with a lot of this le leadership group. What advantages does that have at this point of the season? Yeah, we're just familiar. I, I think we know exactly what we want to accomplish. Like I said, we go into the practice and we don't just wait around and, and kind of see what our system is going to be, what kind of drills we're going to do. I think the older guys, all the guys that are familiar with what we're supposed to do out on the edge, we can push the pace in practice. And uh, that's exactly what we've done in day, uh, the first two days already. I think the intensity is going to keep increasing. And that's just uh, natural, I think, for, for me and other older guys. You're trying to get your kind of legs under you and, and then uh, push for more. And then uh, Wallman was one of the guys who kind of broke out last season. I'm, I'm curious, uh, what do you think he can accomplish in, in year two, having kind of established himself a little more now? Well, hopefully we start the same way because like uh, it's one thing to kind of break out the way through the year and, and finish strong and kind of keep that momentum. I think it's another to start the year uh, whenever everything's at zero and, and kind of do it again. And I'm very excited to, to see him go already in the first two days. I think he's, he's picked exactly where he was. But uh, again, it's going to be the same thing for regular season, preseason, all that stuff. Uh, we want to see it again. He's, he's a guy that's put in a lot of work in the summer to, to keep getting better as a player. He comes in in incredible shape every year. And uh, I'm, I'm excited because obviously if uh, Jake and, and Mo can uh, – can can keep taking steps forward. It's uh, it's, it's going to be a, a big reason why this team uh, moves forward. And then last thing, just for you, what have you kind of learned about what you have to do to get yourself ready at this stage in your career? How how different is that from what it might have been when you were 25, 26? Yeah, well, I talked with Tang's Alex Tangi at my end of the year meeting, and he kind of mentioned himself that in in the later years of his career, he, he wished that he maybe. Um, Drop like five, six, seven pounds, uh, and and kind of got made sure he, he showed up to camp in incredible shape, and that's exactly what I did over the summer. I I went from probably 200, 202, and I'm at probably 194, 195 right now. It obviously fluctuated every single day, but I feel really good right now. I think just working through those like first couple of days of soreness, and then uh, I'm gonna really uh, start pushing. I think you're trying uh, to push a pace in practice uh, to to get physical. It's one thing to play three on three in the summer and there's no physical play, but I think you saw that out of the first two days, guys are trying to get physical to 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 really increase the pace and that's what I'm out there to do. Thank you. Ted? Hey, David, so do you have to, pre I mean, are you, is it more of a 12 month job now compared to when you started in the league and all that? 
Yeah, like definitely for me, what's interesting, I, I mean, if you look at my last five, six years with, which have all been extremely uh, good years for my own standard, I'm, I'm proud of those years and I want to keep pushing on. I don't want to just take on a leadership role and, and kind of just do that in the room. Like I, I want to be a guy that does it on the ice too. And uh, obviously that's including what I do uh, away from, uh, from the ice, but uh, I want to keep pushing. I want to keep get her, getting better. And uh, there's many ways I can do that. So that's what I'm looking forward to do this year. Really. There's uh, the 12 month thing, like you said, uh, my off season over, over the last five, six years, I, I never really had uh, this long of an off season to work on things, uh, strength, uh, just kind of all kinds of issues that maybe like uh, I had been dealing with over the last several years. And um, I think that's what I was able to do this summer. Hey, David, you know Sprong from what, Pittsburgh, and he's a Montreal guy. What does he bring to the table? I think his shot, like he's, uh, I played with uh, with him in a three-on-three league this summer. And uh, any moment he can shoot from the corner, shoot from the blue line, shoot from the dots, whatever he's, I think he's in range all the time to score. He's got a really uh, quick release, sneaky shot. And I think for him, if he focuses on all the details uh, that coaches like, that coaches see him do every single night to give him more opportunities, uh, that's where he's going to be able to take one more step, even in everything else. Like it might feel like as a young guy, it feels sometimes when you focus more on the uh, defensive side, uh, the structure and all that, it, you kind of feel like you give away offense, but in the, in the end you don't because the coaches will end up giving you more on the other side in the long run. And that's what you should focus on. I think I saw the headline for that. Did you get, did you win the tournament? Did you guys win the yeah. summer league or not? Who was yeah, on your team? We, uh, we found a way to win. Yeah, it was, uh, it's always fun. Those, uh, it would kind of lasted like from mid July till, uh, or maybe early July till, um, uh, mid late august so uh we were we didn't have a great season but we had a good playoffs and we won <laughs> who, who's we i mean who was on the team with you um i played a bunch with uh chris latang uh, nick suzuki sprung uh ball duke and new york islanders um louis damang he's uh kind of the third goalie in the uh, right with the rangers yeah guys like that it was awesome not a lot of defense probably in that league. <laughs> well, you know what? Like it's, it's the same thing. Like you, you want to win games uh, when the games get t tighter early on in the summer, guys kind of float around and towards uh, the end of uh, August, you can see the competition competition pick up. It's not anything else like this. Like uh, you come in first day of camp, you, you can see that physicality. I was really impressed with Mo yesterday. He was physical on many little plays. That's what you want to see. It makes you want like as an older guy to, Take, take part in this to get involved. And I, I kind of did that a little bit two on two today. Uh, you you want to feel those bodies so that when you get to exhibition game, it doesn't go from nothing to, to contact. You want to get ready. Appreciate this. Thanks, David. Yeah. Sam. Uh, David, Derek mentioned yesterday that his priorities early in camp was to try out a bunch of different line combinations. I'm curious from your perspective as a player, what is it like to uh, get to play with a bunch of different guys? Um, no, I mean, I think it's, it's great to see it. You, you, you want to be able to be familiar with several combinations so that, I mean, during the year over 80, 80 82 games, you're going to end up, uh, playing with different guys. Uh, and that's the great thing with our group this year, adding comfort. I think the top nine, it really solidifies everything, whether you're a winger on the first line or so to speak, third line, second line. I mean, you're playing with centers that are very experienced. And I think Joe is another guy that can surprise people. I think he's really taken step. You can see the skating has always been there, but he's, he's another level of uh, maturity, physicality, and, and kind of confidence that we're hoping it translates to games. I, I'm always talking with him, uh, on him to, to, to kind of keep expressing that. Like the, it's got to keep coming out. You got to force it a little bit at times too, to, uh, get more comfortable talking in a room, uh, things like that. We want to become a tighter group, and that includes every single guy in the room. And then uh, Dylan mentioned yesterday that you were someone who is often sort of reminding people of where you all are in the standings with respect to the playoff race throughout the season. Uh, I'm curious why, from your perspective, that feels like an important thing to keep on everybody's mind on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. Well, you know what? I've never done that before last year. So it's kind of interesting because uh, some of the other teams, obviously I was on, we just played the games. It took care of itself. We were in a good spot. 
you get excited because you see where you are every week, whatever you lose one, lose two, it don't matter. We know you kind of find it back. But I do think that for us, whether playoffs are at game 40 or game 60 or game 80, uh, 81, or maybe game one of the first round, it's going to come to a point where there's a trigger point for us. And I just felt like at times, uh, maybe we weren't really focusing or aware of this. And I, I, I just kind of, it's not in me to like even summer hockey, the three on three league we talked about, I, I got to find a way to win the game. Like, it's just the way I, I'm built. I've always felt like I won at every level. And I, I feel like in my heart, if you don't think like that, you're not going to have a chance. And I'm not saying that we're contenders to be top six team in the league. I don't think we are, but at the same time, you got to kind of feel in your heart, think about it at least and put your best foot forward. And like I said, I, I felt like we did that. Like after that, we, we went kind of that run seven, one, or maybe six, one and two or something like that. Then we went to Ottawa last year with a lot of those two games and we all kind of knew that was it in a way, but at least with that stretch before was so valuable, I think moving forward and, uh, yeah, there's many ways to go about it. We could go on and on, talk different way. A reason why I, I we should do it, shouldn't do this. But uh, for me, in my heart, I want at every level. That's the way I've always done it. And uh, why not uh, try and become a team, find an identity as a team, and then see where that that gets us. Thank you very much, Dave. George. Hi, David. Um, I was wondering, uh, I had watched even Dylan today, uh, Dylan Larkin, uh, get into a bit of a scrap with uh, Jonathan Berggren. Um, the drills have been particularly physical over the, the first two days of training camp. Is there an emphasis on trying to play with more of an edge this year? I'll tell you, we don't have the same scraps that we had 10 years ago, if that's a scrap, but uh... Uh, you know what? Uh, the, I, I just like getting seeing guys um, showing a little bit of spark out there, a little emotional uh, emotion. Um, I think same similar thing happened uh, one shift or two later with Sprung. I pushed him. He had a one time in the slot. I was kind of in the lane. He held back, looked at me, kind of like, "Hey, I, I gave you a nice respect level there," and uh, he sure did. And those are things that. Uh, I think adding the players that we have at all kinds of position and there's more depth, there's more competition and guys want more. And that includes like Larks. Larks is like, he's probably ex extremely excited to see that he wants to push that level because he's definitely the, the head of the snake on our team. He's our leader. He's our best player. And uh, he wants to keep uh, raising everyone's level. And I, I'm a big believer that uh, it starts with your best players. We're, we, we don't elevate from the bottom. We elevate from our top guys, uh, bringing everyone's level higher and uh, you, you're trying to do that. Is it hard to ride that fine line that is um, trying to be physical with trying to not hurt anybody because you're playing with your teammates during training camp? Uh, where the exhibition season, you can really kind of let loose. Um, I mean, it's a little bit of both. I think, I think there's a respect level in certain times, but... If, if you see that the guy, I think we're all smart players for the most part, we, we know when the guy is coming and why not kind of play it normal. If anything, for me, I, I think it's almost more dangerous when it's not like that. And then one guy comes quick. So you might as well have everyone just play the way you're supposed to. And um, speaking of preseason, I think for, for us veterans, sometimes it's, if anything, you're a little bit more careful because you don't know which, uh, I mean, maybe there's less of those guys nowadays, but there could be a guy on the other side that's trying to make a name of for himself or play physical or whatever. And they're, they're kind of, maybe their career, they got their backs against a the wall. They'll do anything to, 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 to kind of get recognized. And uh, I think that's almost more dangerous that what our guys, we kind of know what style of play that they play. And uh, I think it's just good to, to push against each other. And finally, for me, um, you changed your stick last season, and I was wondering how how your new sticks are holding up for you. Good. Yeah, no, no complaints there. I I don't know why the uh, with my old stick that I had for these five years uh, never changed anything, never asked to change anything, and and I think we're it's just an extension of our body. Eventually, you get so used to it that uh, you know exactly how it's supposed to feel how it is, and uh, the that company uh, sent me some. It just felt like the curve was slightly different. The, 
I don't know if they change factory or, or whatever. And I'm with like all most of the sticks made in China now, who knows how, how that went down. And, um, when I tried the new warrior stick, it just kind of, uh, actually the first game I, I had a hat trick, but obviously that'll give you the confidence to maybe stick with it a little bit longer, but it was, it was a work in progress to find the next one. Cause I felt like the other company wasn't going to do it the way I wanted anymore. Thank you, Kevin. Hi, David. Uh, for the last couple of years, the highest scoring teams, uh, at least 11 of the 12 last season, um, made the playoffs. And it looked like Steve Eisenman tried to address uh, scoring in the offseason. Uh, did, did you think with the additions you made here that you guys can, you know, increase your goals uh, scoring by a significant amount? I mean, I hope so. Like, I think you heard the Newsy talk about this in the past. Um, we, we many times last year, we played our structure game. We played the way we wanted, didn't get rewarded, couldn't, couldn't flip games uh, in our direction. Maybe it's an early goal that, that puts the game away when, when it's 2-1 or 3-1 and it goes 4-1. And maybe it's a late goal to tie and things like that. Um, I think definitely last year we had the battle level. We had many things going in our way, but uh, you, you do hope that getting more uh, goal scorer will do that. And uh, at the same time, you're, you're, you hope that uh, everyone gets on board with still playing that structure game because uh, definitely we want more goals, but we definitely don't want to lose. If anything, we want to add to our structure and our predict predictability and all that stuff uh, to our game. And I know in your career, you've probably seen young guys, uh, you know, take that next step to, you know, take their game to the next level. Does it feel like Elmer solar blooms right at that point where, you know, I watched him in the rookie tournament. He was very, very strong. You get that sense that he's right there, ready to turn the corner. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see him in that tournament. Uh, but um, you know what, like, the way the lines are kind of matched up when we have those practice, uh, he ends up a lot against those guys and against the other prospects. So definitely, I think for him, when he gets in those exhibition games, that's where he needs to to really shine. And then I'm sure like uh, Newsy alluded to, he's going to try different combination over camp, whatever. If he gets a, a look with, I don't know, whoever, like Copper, Comfort, Larks, who knows, right? He's got to find a way to have good days in those days, I think. Use his big frame. He's got good hands around the net. He's he's got to make sure that whatever all his his good qualities are, he's got to show them in those days. And um, is it luck? Is it finding a way to come through uh, in those days? But he's got to find a way. And then finally, you talked about losing a few pounds uh, by design. Is that just to get like an extra half step of quickness, or what's the thought process behind losing a few pounds? Just to be able to follow larks around. <laughs> One zone right. behind instead of two. Uh, no, but I, I, yeah, like I, I think some of it, yes, I think you, you I do feel more confident, uh, in my just kind of um, skating ability. It's not just speed. I, I think I'm strong on my skates. I I'm strong on my edges in the corner, reverse shoulder against bigger defensemen. I think I lost some, some weight by, I, I, I think like muscle wise, I'm the same, if not stronger, I feel really good. And that's, uh, one of my strength that I can never lose. So I got to make sure that's there. If anything, for sure, like the neutral zone skating, that stuff, I, I want to keep up with those guys. Everyone's skating so well nowadays, tracking uh, back into our zone. Uh, and if I'm going to play for um, a couple, a few more years, whatever, uh, that needs to be there. And I want to make sure I don't, uh, I don't lose anything there. Thank you very much. Last question, we'll go to Bob. Last question. David, uh, you're someone who's moved to a few teams over your career, and obviously, again, this year, there's a, a number of new faces with the Red Wings. You were one of them last year, of course. Uh, just wondering what some of the keys are when you bring a bunch of new players in like that to get things to gel quickly. Well, I think this place is great for, for exactly that point is to gel quicker, spend some time together, get to know them on a more personal level. You just it naturally creates uh, those uh, interaction away from the rink for Starbucks coffee, whatever, sit down at the hotel. Um, yeah. Sit down at the hotel, go to dinner. Like uh, we played a couple rounds of golf before camp. Uh, most of the guys showed up there. That was great. 
Um, I, I really want to see our team identity, uh, whatever it is, every year is different. You, you, it's going to come through at an early point in the year. And each and every team that uh, have success, usually that comes around uh, November. You, you kind of get a feel exactly what, what kind of team, what kind of performance uh, you get every single night. It's almost like you could kind of, you have guys on the ice that you trust what they do. You could almost close your eyes and picture what they're going to do because you know that they're, they're going to play with structure, with pace intensity and then when they're going to have the chance to put it away they will and you kind of alluded to the fact that you know you're trying to get a few more years in before it's all over for you uh, as a veteran player do you think that's an element that kind of got you fired up to keep the guys driving last year because I've heard this from a lot of older players where they say you know when you're young you think you've got forever to win and then it, the time flies so quickly yeah, I mean, the drive to win is still there for me, definitely. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, that's part of it. Like, uh, I always said that to Newsy or anybody last year, play a thousand game, whatever. People might think I'm satisfied with that. Well, I don't want to be treated any differently because of it. Uh, I'm sure there's a respect level in certain areas, certain times. But I want to be treated equally like the other guys. And I want to also uh, show my value uh, in different ways. I understand that at this stage of my career, there's going to be a situation that maybe I'm going to have to move around. You're the guy that maybe you're supposed to play on the right side and that night you end up on the left because uh, a younger guy like maybe Razor is more comfortable on the right and that's totally, totally fine with me. Um, that's where I'm, I am at in the, this point in my career. Uh, it's not just about my, my personal stats. It's, I think, the team stat has as much to do as anything else, anything to, else. To, to show that I have value on this team. And that's why it's very, very important for me that we have a good start. Uh, we, we put ourselves in a good situation where we play those games that are meaningful the whole year. And I, I don't think as an organization you make much stride until you, make, uh, you play those games uh, each and every night.